So a couple weekends ago, I was working on a project that involved hunting uh, for images of Pete Maravich memorabilia cards. So I wasn't even looking for autograph stuff. And in the process, I saw a picture of, I'm going to say my signed 1972 Maravich, right? Because that's how I saw it. Yours now, sure. Right, my, mine now. And, um, you know, I knew it wasn't another copy because the autograph was very distinct. It's, you know, not many of them are signed Pistol Pete Maravich. And the end of the autograph kind of wrapped around the top of the card a little bit. So I'm like, all right, you know, that is mine for sure. And I even pulled up a picture like that is my card, <laughs> you know, so I, I'm very proud of it. Right. I posted it in multiple places. So my first thought was, <laughs> and I'm, I'm ashamed of this now. My first thought was, Oh, another blogger stole my pictures again, <laughs> <laughs> but curiosity got the best of me. Uh, Cause this was just on Google image search. And then I clicked on it to find out like, Oh no, this was posted in 2009 Whereas I bought the card from a friend of mine in, I think, 2016 or 2017. I know for a fact it was pre-marriage. And um, so this was posted online years before I even owned it. Uh, I reached out to you to confirm that this used to be your card, and it did. Um, and it gets even better than that. So your blog is kind of the origin story for this <laughs> card and the signature. So I'd love it if you would pick things up from there. I know you wrote this up a long time ago, but if you don't mind, can you take us through uh, your Pete Maravich autograph and the story behind that. Well, I was a big fan of Pete Maravich. I, I think Pete Maravich was way before his time. I think he's one of the greatest ball players of all time. His, if you see, if you read the books, if you've seen them, I think there was a movie on him too. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing player. But anyway, I was a big fan of his. I sent him, I think it was four cards. And I, I, I always say, you know, feel free to keep any that you want for yourself. And that was in late 1987, I believe it was. And, you know, I mean, I said I used to send out probably five or six, 10, whatever a week. And then it would take whatever amount of time. So two, three months later, uh, beginning of 1988, I guess the cards returned in the mail. All, I think it was four of them, all four signed with a note on Jackie Maravich, his wife, on her stationery from Pete mm -hmm. saying, you know, thank you for your interest or whatever. Thank you for being a fan. And then that was I I because I, I got home from school, so that was like four o'clock in the afternoon. We sit down for dinner with my 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 parents, and on the news comes Pete Maravich died. The so same day, his, right? That day. The yeah, same he, exact day. Yeah, he was playing in some pickup game in the gym or whatever, and he passed out, he died. The day that I got his cars back, literally minutes probably after I opened up the mail. I found out that Pete died and like I for I went from being ecstatic to have Pete Maravich's autographs to like just freaking out that you know first of all he died second of all he you know he died moments after I got the cards in the mail so it kind of blew my mind yeah it's all just so surreal now you mentioned in there that you got the the letter as well do you I, I'm assuming you keep that stuff too right yeah oh absolutely yeah and the, the thing was the the gentleman uh who purchased the, the one card for me and I very very rarely sell anything mm -hmm. you know, when I and and that you know, obviously as you saw I sold it to him probably 20 some years after um after I got the card um, he had reached, he saw the blog, he reached out to me and was a, a true Maravich fan. The only reason I, I sold it to him was um, because he was such a fan. And I figured, well, I've got four, you know, I'd like to kind of share it with someone who would appreciate it like I do. Mm -hmm. So I did sell him the card. You know, I just, again, I thought it was going to, and it did go to a big fan. I know he was a big fan because of right. the way he responded, the way he acted. But um, he asked for proof. I, I, he, he wanted to get authenticated. Mm -hmm. and it actually failed the first time hmm. and I said well I don't know what to tell you because you know I told him the whole story I said I've got the letter so I actually sent him the letter upon him promising that he would send it back and yeah. so he sent that in resubmitted it and it did pass approval and it was as you said he very rarely signs that particular way yeah that's what drew me a lot to that uh, particular card I mean also I was searching for a signed 72 tops, which you can't get too picky, but there are some out there. Like I've seen some on eBay um, that are in black Sharpie that are just kind of scribbled pistol. Right. right. So it's, right. it's not, you know, it's not a nice autograph. And even the other cards you got signed look great as well. So yeah, I was going to ask you, I knew you had like four Pete autographs at some point, it probably sinks in like, this is worth a lot of money. You know, I've got four of these. I, I know it's, it's something that you wrestle with, but like you said, you, you know, it's going to a good spot and, and it did then. And um, that was kind of 
when I interacted with the person that I bought it from, that was kind of his condition to me. He's like, look, I know you're doing this 1972 set. You know, I hate to to give up this card. He sure. had a couple Pete Maravich autographs himself. Um, so it, it's just interesting how all that comes about. The story behind this card, though, and and you know, I I didn't know all of that, so I I'm, I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of speechless here because <laughs> it adds a whole nother layer to this thing. So anyway, now this story and the card are reunited six or seven years later, and and that wouldn't have happened without your blog. So. I'm a huge advocate of, of sharing hobby stories, and I know you do it as a passion, um, but you chronicled this card in 2009, and, and now I have another reason to appreciate it for my collections. 